Welcome to the Nimble Nectar training video for the closing routine. This is the final day pack up. All throughout the show, your booth has looked like this. After Costco closes, you need to pack it up so that all the products look like this and are ready to go back to our warehouse. Here's a tip, use the handbook. The Costco Roadshow Handbook has two checklists that will be very important for you to use during this pack up. One is the final day checklist. The other is the Roadshow Inventory Checklist. Both are available in your kit and you can pull out copies and fill it out as you go. Once Costco closes, you can begin by taking off your apron and leaving it in the bin. Then you can begin to wash, sanitize, and thoroughly dry the trays, spouts, and signs. You can empty your ice chest in a floor drain in the back. Then, spray it down with sanitizer and dry it thoroughly so it doesn't mildew. If you have a refill pallet or pick threes in the back, these need to be brought up to your spot. Ask a manager to have a forklift driver assist you. Since you may need to wait a few minutes for the pallets in the back to come forward, this is a good time to retrieve go-backs. Go-backs are bottles and pick threes that have been taken from the table but not purchased and instead left on the aisles or up front at the registers. You need to walk the wine, liquor, and snack aisles looking for these. They may also accumulate in a shopping cart up by the front registers. You can ask an employee to help bring go-backs from the front registers, but you'll need to walk the aisles yourselves to make sure that any other go-backs left behind are collected. Remember, any left behind are a loss to our company and hurt our ability to help pay you and make our ends meet. So definitely retrieve all the go-backs you can possibly find. Next, you can disassemble the table and put away all of your supplies. You want to make sure that all of them are clean and dry. You want to throw away the plastic tablecloth, but save the cloth tablecloth and put it in the black bin. Ask an employee for a black plastic pallet and put our roadshow kit on its own pallet, starting with the table, then the bin and the ice chest, but don't yet wrap it with pallet wrap. Next, repack the bottles of nimble nectar that are in the half-sided trays into full boxes. Ideally, all of the same flavor and in a box that has that same flavor name on it. Be careful because many of the flavors look alike, so be extra careful putting flavors into the correct boxes. If you need to, you can pull out a marker and write the new flavor name on the box if you don't have any boxes of the appropriate flavor. Disassemble any Pick 3 boxes and put them back into the brown Pick 3 Master Packs. And put all the brown Pick 3 Master Packs back onto the palette they came on. Put the repacked cases of Nimble Nectar back onto pallets with other Nimble Nectar of the same flavor type. Then begin to wrap it with pallet wrap. You can get this from any Costco employee. Go around at least 20 times. This is to ensure that you have enough pallet wrap to keep it stable. You will know you have gone around enough when it has a milky appearance. Be sure the pallet wrap covers the pallet skid as well as all the cases. Open the bin and pull out the folder pack. From there, you can get 12 copies of our shipping labels. These say Special Consignment Roadshow Inventory, Sunset Cocktails, Inc. You'll need one for each side of the pallets. Also pull out tape, a pen, and a knife. Put shipping labels on all sides of each of the pallets. Count how many total pallets will be returned, including pick threes and the Roadshow kit. If there's four pallets going back, then write one of four, two of four, three of four, etc. on each pallet, so the whole shipment goes together and individual pallets aren't left behind. Next, complete the inventory counts on your final day checklist. First, write down the number of pick three brown master pack boxes that will be returned. Next, write the number of complete layers of Nimble Nectar product cases among all the pallets and write that in. For example, this pallet has two complete layers, so you would count two for this pallet and then you would count separately the number of cases on top and write them on the line below for the number of cases. Finally, write the number of pallets being returned. Now you're gonna take pics of everything that you need for the closing routine, referring to section five of the handbook to know what to send. This includes taking a picture of the filled out closing routine checklist, a photo of the ice chest empty and thoroughly dried, a photo of the wrapped roadshow kit, a photo of the wrapped pallets showing all the pallets in one photo, and a photo showing that the whole area is free of trash. A very important point is to stack the Roadshow kit and the Pick 3 boxes on top of the Nimble Nectar product pallets, like what you see here. 
In order to do that, you need to make sure that the Nimble Nectar bottles and the cases of those have a flat top and that especially the corners of the Nimble Nectar product pallets are spread out and covered so that the pallets that stack on top will be secure and not wobbly. If you haven't already done so, then wrap up your pallet of pick three boxes. Put tape pricing signs and any other supplies into the bin, but keep out the knife and put it on top of the bin lid. Then wrap the bin and the whole Roadshow Kit pallet with pallet wrap. Ask a Costco forklift driver to help you stack the pick three boxes and the Roadshow Kits on top of the Nimble Nectar pallets. And that's it. If your spot looks like this, then you're good to go. It may sound like a lot of work, but it will be second nature after you've done it. Now all you have to do is tell a manager or a supervisor that you're done, and they will arrange to move the pallets after you've left. All you have to do now is go in and clock out of T-sheets. And guess what? You're done. Congratulations. Go home and take it easy.